Hi, this is Thomas with Advent, and today I want to show you a few ways you can link up your Advent account with your Zoom account using Zapier. Zoom has become the standard video call tool for hundreds of millions of people around the world. It provides a straightforward and robust way to create and schedule meetings and webinars for both business and personal use. Some organizations rely on Zoom for many meetings and webinars. And the process of adding Zoom links to calendar events and then sending them out to their invite list can be quite tedious. I want to show you a few different ways you can automate your Zoom to add event flow and hopefully inspire you to come up with other solutions that fit your particular needs. So for our first example, let's just say uh, a simple flow where when you schedule a meeting in Zoom, it automatically gets put on your add event calendar with the Zoom link um, that for that meeting ready to go for then distribution to your user base. This is very simple. Um, what you would do is you would uh, select the trigger from the Zoom app and just do new meeting in Zoom. And this assumes you've already made the meeting um, so that I can find it, right? And so you'd say new meeting in Zoom and continue. Um, and then you'd set up, okay, what type is it? Is it, is it a meeting or a webinar? In this case, we're just gonna do a meeting, continue. And then when you test it, it'll pull whatever um, meetings that you've set up before this was um, activated to test with. And the idea is that once you put this in motion, then every time you make a new meeting, it will um, fire this off and put itself into Adamant as well. So you can pick one of these records to work with. I'm just going to pick this one. Um, and then you would use the Add Event Create Event action. And you would go down, you'd set it up, right? And then you can put the different bits of information from the Zoom meeting into the ad event meeting. So in this case, um, you pull the title, that would be the same title as your Zoom meeting, start time, end time, and the meeting link right here. And so now this will create an event in ad event for the date of this meeting. So in this case, it's, I think I had it for February 7th. Um, just as an example, you hit continue and you hit test step and it puts the event on to your ad event calendar for you. So, and then when you publish this, this will just be happily working in the background as you create meetings in zoom. All right. So that's one simple example. Let's look at another example. Um, how about if you want somebody who's registered for, uh, an event through an ad event RSVP event? right, that you put out there, you want them when they register to also get automatically registered within Zoom for a Zoom meeting. Sometimes people do that as a way to help protect Zoom meetings so that only registered people who've been pre-registered can join, like uh, panelists in a webinar, for instance, or other things, right? Um, and you want it just to be a simple, they sign up in one place and they don't have to sign up again somewhere else to be registered in Zoom and you don't have to register them manually, this would be the way to do it. So you would use Advent's new RSVP attendee trigger. You'd set it up. You'd set it to look for what event or calendar that um, this will trigger from. And then you will pick, are these the people who are going or they're not going or they're just interested, whatever works in your case. And like earlier, you'd pick a record, so it's gonna look for um, somebody who's RSVP'd recently to pull from. And you hit continue, continue, and you're gonna use the create meeting registrant in Zoom action um, in this case, right? And so for this, you're gonna pick what meeting would these people get registered to, right? Again, working automatically in the background. So I'm gonna pick the demo meeting I set up, right? Um, you can auto fill in their email address. In this case, I didn't have an email address on that RSVP um, record, so but you could pull that in. And again, you could pull in their name, right? Kind of like earlier, right? Name, etc. And then you continue and you test that. And what it will do is it will create a registrant for your Zoom meeting. Um, so these are two really simple examples. But the key here is that you could fit these into a large variety of flows that you might already have and be combined with a lot of other tools. So for instance, on this one, 
you see that it then goes to creating a draft in Gmail as an example, right? Let's say, you know, you want to use that to send the confirmation email email out to them or with other information, or you could add them to uh, your CRM, right? To HubSpot or something like that as a contact for later use in marketing. Um, but the point is that even though these little combinations and others are probably very simple in terms of just being one, two steps, right? They could be um, used in a way that is very powerful as a part of other flows that you might have in Zapier and combined with other tools. It also just saves you a lot of time, even with just these little one, two step things, right? Instead of needing to uh, register people in multiple places manually or to upload CSV files or something of all of your uh, subscribers to import them into a meeting or to an event. Uh, this just works in the background and saves you a ton of time so you can focus on other things like the details of your event and making it great. So I hope that you found this little guide useful. Uh, if you need anything from us, please don't hesitate to reach out uh, to support at adevent.com. But otherwise, good luck with your next event and take it easy.